Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna be giving a little bit of a tour of my island in Animal Crossing. Now, if you look on YouTube, there's a lot of really amazing aesthetic islands that people put a lot of hard work and time into. Um, my island is not that. I think my island is maybe more representative of a casual gamer. Uh, I have put a lot of my own personal hard work into it, but I thought I'd just give you, you know, a show. It's, it's a, a work in progress, so I think it would be fun. If you have any ideas or suggestions for me, then I can update as I renovate and maybe include some of your ideas. So let's get started. So my island is called Rune Island. I named it after the Rune Factory game series. It's one of my favorite game series of all time. And I just thought it was cool, so I'm your Rune Isle, I guess. I like to think of it as Rune Island, but same, same thing kind of works. So it looks like we're getting ready for Festival. The new update, and that's really exciting. But let's get into the tour. Alright, <laughs> starting off, there's a lot going on here. So, this is my house. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't winter, because you'll lose some of the effects, but I can update in the uh, springtime, and you can see more of the grass. But I have the yellow, black and white house, and this is my little stylish outfit I've got going on. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll start off with an in-house tour. And I'm really hoping there's not going to be any bugs inside, but no promises. Awesome. Okay. So starting off, my rooms are kind of themed by color. So this room is obviously pink. <laughs> uh, I really like pink. It's my probably second favorite color. So I've got kind of a couple of things going on here. Um, my favorite thing, honestly, is the shell bed. It's really cute. But yeah, so this is the pink room. Next up is my kitchen, which is like a red diner themed. I'm not quite done, I feel like. Uh, there's some stuff I'd like to maybe put here. But yeah, I like, I don't really like this wallpaper floor combo, but this is what we're dealing with right now. My favorite thing in this room is probably the cake. And then the rug. I just think they're really cute. So moving on, go back to the main room. Next up is gonna be my blue I don't my blue room. I don't really know what to call it. I just kind of have things that are blue in here. <laughs> uh, I really like the wallpaper. It's very fun. I don't ever really come in here. I guess it's my pet room, so I have a hamster and a little fish tank and a koi in there. Or, yeah, koi? Or goldfish. Probably goldfish. So yeah, I don't ever really come in here, but I just had a lot of blue items, so here we are. <laughs> Alright, next up. I wouldn't even call it a room. <laughs> it, it's bad. This is this is a, a work in progress. So I wanted this to be like a green nature type room. So clearly you can see like the mangrove forest wallpaper. I really like that. I didn't I don't think I have the floor or I didn't like it. So I have the petals down and you know, praying mantis figure and whatnot. And then just just this gold bed. <laughs> This is really out of place, but yeah. Still working on that. It's kind of like the absolute bottom of my priority list. So we'll go upstairs, which is my yellow and orange room. So yellow is my favorite color, so of course I made the biggest room in the game. Bright yellow. Um, yeah, this room... It's maybe not the- probably looks horrible from that angle. It's not the most decorated room ever, or well decorated. It's again just kind of a hodgepodge of things that are yellow. 
or kind of go with the theme. Um, but I, I do, I do like having the balloon there by the fan. Just seeing it wiggle brings me joy. So the last room is my basement, and it's my favorite room. I think this is the best decorated room that I have. So it's like a black and white themed, and it's just cool. Look at this. So it's kind of like a sciency art room. I don't know. There's a lot going on. But yeah, I just kind of have a, all of the... Uh, a lot of the black and white kind of antique like furniture and some of the like lunar themed items as well. I just think it's cool and I'm really proud of it. So yeah, let's move on to the rest of my island. I'll get my mail later, but up top I have my favorite, aww, <laughs> my favorite villagers. So this is Bob's house. All right, I have to talk to Tangi. She's just too cute. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> I stopped playing the game for a little bit, but I'm back. Okay, so that's Tangi's house here, obviously. So I kind of gave them like slightly themed uh, front yards. So obviously Tangi, everything's really orange. Bob is just a strange guy, so I gave him the nesting dolls and a hammock. And then moving down, this is, I believe, Meringue's house. So I gave her a picnic set. And then this one I think is Cookie? Yep. So pink, obviously. She's a diva. And then over here... This these two houses are Marina and Tutus. I don't know who's who. Um, but yeah, I gave them a little reading nook. Because I thought it was cute. Put that there. So then on to the lower level. Okay. So this is Zucker's house. Um, I know that having a, a hearth just kind of floating in midair is kind of a weird concept. But I actually... I mean, you normally can't see the top of it, so I think it looks cool here. And I gave him blue flowers, because he's kind of blue and red. It's like his color palette. Uh, and then here is Apollo's, uh, and he's kind of edgy, so I, I, you know, I just gave him the dark purple roses. And it looks really cool when there's not snow on the ground. Uh, over here, <laughs> this is... um. A oh, big old work in progress. This is where I basically just dump all of my things while I'm renovating. But we continue on this way. Don't get me started on the bridges. I can't fix them because somewhere on my island they would have to be uneven. So I just picked it to be here. So we're dealing with it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, next up here is um, Lucky's house. Obviously, I really like Lucky. Uh, I think his was the easiest to decorate because I just put all of the spooky stuff out. But that's there. And then here, oh, there's, there he is. This is uh, Ketchup's house. Obviously, red, yellow, and orange kind of themed. Uh, and I just like the way these tiles work. Those roses are not supposed to be right there, but obviously... I haven't taken great care of my island. <laughs> so, hi Lucky. Alright. Moving forward, this is... <laughs> you can see the tiles. This is an area that's a work in progress, but this is supposed to be like a spa area. I need another one of these soldier figures to go right here, and that will look really cool in my mind. But... Yeah, so this is... Just like a little spa area that I thought was cute. Um, never really come back here, but and yeah, I need one more, one more flower to kind of fill out that part. And then over here, this <laughs> is my marketplace. I'm in the process of retiling my entire island, but that takes 
forever because the tile I'm putting down doesn't use the sand uh, walkway, so it's just like tile graphic on ground. Um, so I have to not only brush off this old tile graphic and then take off the sand underneath it. It's a very long process. But yeah, I've got like um, a fortune teller stand right here. DIY stand, some you know, cotton candy and corn, kettle corn. This is like a Japanese, Chinese food restaurant kind of stand. You know, fortune cookies, and then this is fruit, obviously. And then this is just a little, just a little island I thought was cute. So this work in progress and. I would like something to maybe make it feel like a little less empty. I guess maybe making it smaller would do that, but I don't want to cut off the access to the island. So, need some ideas on that. Next, we're going to go to the front of the island because it's the next nicest area. Um, I'm putting in all these mums along here. I'm almost done. Um, but I think they look, they look cute. A walkway, waterway thing. I'm gonna put some on the other side too, but I haven't gotten to it. So, leading kind of normally, if you would be coming from my airport, this is kind of like the main entrance of my island. It's where I have all of my fruit trees and my flowers, and I just kind of let them propagate kind of at will. But they're very cute. Um, right off of the flowers, I have a little garden area. Uh, with some of the beehives. I'm gonna fill this out with pumpkins because I don't want to sell all of them because I want to use them for future DIYs, but I just haven't got to it. So I have this little bee farm island back on the path. So we'll take this all the way down to the airport so you can see that little airport uniform guy right there. So yeah, so it's a straight shot from here to the residential area. So I wanted to keep that even and then obviously after the residential area I had that weird mismatch bridge thing. But I think it's fine. So right off onto the left here I have just one of my little cafes. Um, I just think it's cute. I just had a lot of this type of furniture, so I have more than one kind of cafe area. And then down here, I have a playground. And I actually really, really love the way this looks. Uh, I really love this tile. It looks like the uh, the old carpets they used to have all the time in little kids' rooms. And yeah, and so then right off there, and this is mainly just for storage purposes, I keep the snorkel gear. I don't know why that's there. But then I like these little little soot sprites uh, with the star fragments. I think those are cute. So moving forward. Obviously right here I have the main area. Everyone's getting down. Picked a really weird day to film this, but... Oh, sorry ketchup. Bye ketchup. So here I have this little fountain area that I think is cute. And then here I have a little pet cemetery. So this is uh, a fish I had. Her name was Little Buddy. Uh, and I had her for like f maybe almost four years. And then this is my childhood dog, Libby. Um, so I just, I love them. And they were part of my childhood when I was playing Animal Crossing a lot growing up. So I put a little a uh, little reminder of them here. And then, mm, I don't know. I like this rose bed, but I don't have a purpose for it. So currently it's just hanging out right there. Tutu, not now. Tutu, no. <laughs> tutu, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, Tutu is going to be joining me. Uh, here I have a little koi pond thing. I don't know. It just takes up a lot of space and I had a lot of empty space. And then here is another mini spa area. Um, I just kind of like the way it looks. And then here is my 
other cafe area because I have too many. Um, yeah, I just like the way it looks. More like a coffee shop type thing with a very Starbucks-like menu. And then up here behind resident services I have my campsite. And I really like this the way it looks. It looks really cool when there's actually someone in the campsite. But I thought it looked really homey and you know, looked like an actual campsite. And then we take this bridge over. Uh, down here I just have a couple more beachy things. I think decorating the beaches are really difficult, so any tips would be great. I need to work on beach decorating, but this is my little shopping island. So here I have nooks, um, and again, I've got too much cafe <laughs> gear, so there's just a little, little thing here. And then obviously this is the Able Sisters. I really like the way this looks the pink bear and yeah it's like they're sewing outside I guess behind I have a little campsite area and then I also have uh, a yogurt candy protein powder station because why not I guess ice cream was the word I was looking for not yogurt <laughs> I mean frozen yogurt but yeah and so this is that area this <laughs> it's like the ugliest part of my island because it's a big renovation um yeah oh god it's a mess so i think my idea for this area this area was gonna be a soccer field because that's what a lot of the equipment by apollo's house is so it would be a soccer field right there i think i was gonna turn this immediate area into um kind of like a carnival amusement park type thing and then right here I have a pool <laughs> um, so this this little block is finished um, but yeah you can see it just it's just a mess it's the biggest part of my island and it's kind of kind of a mess but that's okay I can't wait to share when I'm finished with it so this is also a work in progress area up here but I have a dig site I think is pretty cool. Uh, obviously I'm not done tiling up here, but over here I have a little outdoor library. Though this would be the worst place for a library because it's so loud with all of the waterfalls, but I think it's really cute. And it's like a little hidden gem on my island. And then here, <laughs> this is obviously not done, but it's going to be like a science center, like a kid's science museum, outdoor thing. Because I have a lot of like, you know, doctor's coat and microscopes and all of that. So as a scientist myself, I thought it would be cute to have a little friendly interactive area. And then here, oof, that tulip's not supposed to be there. This is a little picnic area. Um, I'll put more of the mums back there. Uh, in front of the waterfall and then over here is the aquarium kind of portion of my outdoor science center and a bunch of weeds in the back you know those <laughs> but I just had a lot of these that and I already in, in the museum which I thought would be kind of cool to have just like an outdoor thing I don't know <laughs> I guess having an aquarium next to my aquarium is a little redundant but I think it looks cute so then up here is my museum so I have three dinosaur I guess skeletons out there's that one this one and then whatever the hell this thing is <laughs> I don't know the, the reindeer one they have a little sign yeah that is the island. So then to get back here, you run past this ugly portion of my island. And all of the weeds. And you keep going. 
has all of my villagers celebrating. And we're right back at the start. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. Hi Tutu. Oh, and have a great day.